In this lesson, we're gonna talk about a super important topic, which is recommender systems. Recommender systems are powering a lot of the products that you already use, from Netflix to Facebook, Instagram, Spotify. So it's very important to understand how they work. But first, let's talk about why they exist. Why do we need AI that give us recommendations? And I wanna give you an example about an experiment that was done a few years ago by a bunch of psychologists. And this, exam this experiment is called the GEM experiment. So these psychologists made a test. They first took six different gems, they put them in a supermarket on a stand so people could try them. And then they put 24 gems the day after. And they measured how the people interacted with these gems. How many people stopped by and tried the six gems and how many people stopped and tried some of the 24 gems. And then how many of these people purchased the gem. What they found out was extremely interesting. The first thing is that more people tended to stop by the boot with 24 gems. They were more interested in trying a vast selection of gems. But when it comes to purchasing, a tenth of the people bought the gem when they had 24 gems to choose from. So more offering reduced purchase by 10 times. And the reason why is that people don't like choosing. Taking decision is so complicated, it's so hard for us. So having an AI that can help us select content is extremely useful. And as I told you in the beginning of this video, it's one of the key ingredients behind the success of companies like Facebook, Instagram, or Netflix. So let's see how AI can help you select content. The first way in which I can do it is called content-based recommendations. Let's try to get an intuition of what content-based recommendations mean. Let's suppose that your friend really likes this t-shirt. Which one would you suggest them to purchase? The suggestion A or the suggestion B? Which kind of recommendation would you give if you know that your friend really likes this t-shirt? Well, probably you will pick suggestion A because it's more similar to what your friend already likes, while suggestion B it's very weird and you probably will not suggest anything like this. So you, with your brain, know how to process the concept of similarity. AI does exactly the same thing. And I want to show you a small demonstration of an algorithm that I built together with my friend Nicolò on an AI that can actually look at t-shirts and understand similarity between them. So let's see how this works. These are, I think, a thousand t-shirts, if I remember correctly, that this AI algorithm was able to place together and see in a way that highlights similarity. As you can see, all the black t-shirts are right here. I can click on one and I can see the most similar t-shirts. They're all very similar, as you can see. And this was learned autonomously by the AI. We didn't explain the, the, the artificial intelligence algorithm that these are black t-shirts. If we click on this one, there are all white t-shirts with some sort of writing, some letters, some text written on the top. We can also see different groups of t-shirts, like for instance, let's look here what we have. Okay, these are more kind of peach, light pink color. And again, the AI just figured out that all these t-shirts are similar without us having to explain anything. And we could go on and on and on until we actually can find maybe some interesting suggestions for our friend who really likes red t-shirts. So here they are. There's a little block of t-shirts here. They all seem red. So we can click on one and see very similar t-shirts to one selection. So this is one of the different ways that we can use AI to give recommendations. The second way that we can use is called community-based recommendations. So while in content-based recommendations, AI looks at content and tries to find similar items, in community-based, AI leverages the power of crowds. So it looks at the different interactions between people and items to make recommendations. And this technology is the reason why companies like Amazon, Spotify, or Netflix want to know what you think about their products. Let's build another intuition around how this technology works. Let's suppose that you have three friends, Mark, Julie, and Carol. And you know that Mark likes The Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. Julie likes Kill Bill and 007, so James Bond. And Carol likes The Lord of the Rings. Which other movie would you recommend Carol? Well, probably you would recommend Harry Potter, exactly like Mark. What's interesting is that if you think about this, you know the plots of all these movies, probably, right? 
But the kind of thinking that we made didn't require you to know what these movies are about. You could just substitute this with different letters and say that Mark liked A and B, Julie C and D, and Carol liked A. What do you recommend Carol? Well, if Mark liked A as well, you can recommend Carol B. And here you go. This is how it works. I'm going to show you a small demo that I made together with my friend Nicolo on movie data using the Netflix data set. So you can see how powerful community-based recommended systems can be. So this is a bunch of code. Now, you don't need to understand all this code. I'm going to explain all the stuff you really need to get. This is the data that we have. Each movie has an ID and we have all these different movies. We have 3,883 movies. We also have this very important data set, which is for each user, we know which movie they rated, how many stars it gave the movie, and at what time. And in total, we have a million different ratings. So now, this is all the AI part, which again, we're not gonna go through because it's not the goal of this course, but I wanna show you how it works. So here we ask the AI to suggest us movies that are similar to Goldfinger, which is a James Bond movie. And the AI, without knowing anything about the movie, recommended us other James Bond movies. Let's make another test with Aladdin, a cartoon by Disney. The AI algorithm recommends us other Disney cartoons. Let's try with the Blues Brothers, which is a movie I really like, and it suggests us all the movies that are not just similar, but they're actually from the same actor, which I find pretty funny. So the interesting thing about this algorithm is that as you can see, it didn't know anything about the movies. It didn't even know the titles. It just looked at the ratings that different people gave to similar movies, and it was able to understand that all these movies have something in common. For instance, here we know that they have the actor in common. With James Bond, they knew, knew that it was the same series, but the AI didn't have to know about this. It leveraged the power of crowds to make meaningful and useful recommendations.